And welcome back. It's 940 and it's Wednesday, which means it's time for another edition of Katie's Science Lab. Today we're learning how to make our own volcano. And Katie, if I could go back in time to elementary school, this is exactly <laughs> what I would make. <laughs> yes, at the Play-Doh that I have here, the smell is like really taking me Aww. back. And even Justin earlier was like, oh, I smell Play-Doh. And you said Play-Doh is <laughs> a hot commodity these days. It, yes. was, it was really hard to find just regular Play-Doh. It's but back to school time. I found it. And then a little too late this morning, Justin was like, I got plenty of Play-Doh that <laughs> I can have from his girls, so I'll have to keep that in mind for next time. Right. Um, all right, so let's get started. The whole idea here is that we're going to create a reaction between an acid and a base. Acids and bases both want to get back to neutral. In order for that to happen, a reaction has to take place. So here is what you're going to need. You are going to need some baking soda. That is going to be our base. You're going to need some food coloring, a little bit of dish soap and vinegar. Vinegar is going to act as our acid. You're going to need some kind of container like a cup. I'm using a styrofoam cup and also a makeshift volcano. So this is where you can get really creative. This may take a little bit of time. Basically what I did is I took a styrofoam cup, trimmed it down a little bit and then put the Play-Doh around it to make it look like a volcano. That's really the best that I could do this morning. Because right now it looks, looks like great. Santa Claus melted. No, it does <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> no, it does This took an interesting turn. All right. <laughs> it's a volcano. Lovely volcano. It's a volcano. So what you're going to do so I've already got my cup in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to add two to three spoons worth of baking soda. So we'll put that in there. And then you want a little bit of dish soap. The dish soap is going to help to make it really, really bubbly. Awesome. So as more. Put the more reaction more. More and more. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right. And then you're going to add the food coloring. I've got red and yellow here to kind of make it look like lava. Awesome. Put a few drops of the red and then the yellow. And then right when you add the vinegar, the acid, that's when the reaction is going to start to happen. So you can do this inside and be ready for cleanup, kind of like I am, or you can do it outside if you just don't really want to worry about it. All right, here we go. Reaction taking place in three, two, one. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> That is so cool. Woohoo! Ta da! It doesn't look like Christmas at all, Mark. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all we're missing is some little, man, I should have had little plastic dinosaurs. That would, have been a, that would have been a nice touch. But yeah, this is really fun and it's kind of a, you know, another like shock and awe factor and it'll keep, it'll keep bubbling for a little bit. Try it, you know, try it a few times. Try adding more baking soda, see what happens. Try adding more soap. Maybe we did need more soap to make it more bubbly, but there you go. Your, your reaction by combining an acid and a base. Yes, we was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this, was a, this was really fun, so I'm going to be careful as I clean this up. Um, but we'll have more experiments coming up each Wednesday. If you want, you know, once the kiddos get done with school for the day, head to ksat.com slash kids. You can find all the experiments we've done so far there and have a little bit of fun at home. So all this stuff very easy to find except yeah. for the play-doh that may require a little advanced planning yeah now i've got a lot of extra play-doh so if you need some oh. <laughs> let me know so look for katie on ebay yeah. you found it at target though yes yeah. i did okay yep. all right we thank you katie blake you're welcome <laughs> thank you all right you